Steven Spielberg's 2018 sci-fi blockbuster, Ready Player One, based on Ernest Cline's novel, brought the concept of the metaverse to life in a visually stunning and immersive way. The film showcased a futuristic virtual world called The Oasis, where people could escape their bleak reality and interact in a limitless digital universe. The Oasis embodied the dream of the metaverse, an expansive, fully interactive, and decentralized space where users could socialize, work, play, and create without the restrictions of the physical world. It allowed users to craft avatars, explore diverse virtual landscapes, and even participate in high-stakes competitions. The film's depiction of VR technology, haptic feedback suits, and full-body motion capture hinted at how advanced the metaverse could become. The movie Ready Player One came out in 2018, but the excitement for the metaverse really gained traction in 2021 when Facebook's CEO Mark Zuckerberg decided to change their name to Meta and go all in on the metaverse. But what has happened since then? The concept of the metaverse has gained some traction in recent years, driven by advancements in virtual reality, augmented reality, blockchain technology, and artificial intelligence. But despite the buzz, one fundamental question remains. Where is the metaverse? Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we will discuss what it will take for mass adoption. Let's get into it. First, let's take a quick look at what exactly is the metaverse. The metaverse is a virtual digital world where people can interact, work, play, and socialize using avatars. It's like the internet, but in 3D, blending virtual reality, augmented reality, and blockchain technology. Big companies like Meta and Microsoft are building it for gaming, meetings, shopping, and digital experiences. Think of it as an immersive internet where you can walk around, own virtual property, and connect with others in real time. Next, let's take a look if Meta is still developing their metaverse. Although Meta, like other Silicon Valley giants, is now investing billions in AI, it has not yet given up on its previous ambitious vision, the creation of an online metaverse. The company was so committed to this idea that it even rebranded itself to reflect that mission. However, things haven't exactly gone as planned. By 2024, it had spent nearly $69 billion with plans to invest over $20 billion in 2025. According to an internal memo from Meta CTO Andrew Bosworth, the company remains focused on the metaverse, particularly its flagship platform, Horizon Worlds. Despite financial losses and lower user engagement, Meta is still developing the metaverse in 2025. The company has launched AI-powered AR glasses, Orion, and continues working on VR technology while also focusing on AI projects like Llama Models and Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. Though the metaverse hasn't taken off as expected, Meta remains committed to making it a reality. Other than Meta, what are some other virtual worlds? Currently, the metaverse is spread across various virtual platforms, each offering unique experiences. Here are just a few. Decentraland is a blockchain-based virtual world where users can buy, sell, and develop digital real estate. The Sandbox is a decentralized gaming platform that allows users to build, own, and monetize experiences using NFTs. Roblox is a user-generated content platform where players can create games and experiences. These platforms, while distinct, collectively contribute to the larger metaverse ecosystem. If you like our content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell when we drop a new video. Next, let's take a quick look at the tools needed for the metaverse. Entering the metaverse requires a combination of hardware and software tools to interact with digital worlds. Here's what you need. VR headsets devices like the MetaQuest, HTC Vive, or Apple Vision Pro provide immersive experiences, though some metaverses work on PCs or mobile devices. High-performance PCs or gaming laptops enhance graphics and performance, while some platforms run on mobile apps. If engaging in virtual economies, blockchain wallets like MetaMask or Phantom help manage digital assets and NFTs. A stable, high-speed internet connection ensures smooth navigation and interaction. Controllers, haptic gloves, and motion sensors enhance interaction, making movements feel more natural. With the right tools, you can fully experience the metaverse for gaming, work, or socializing. Finally, what needs to happen for the metaverse to be accepted by the masses? The metaverse has the potential to change how we work, play, and interact, but it has yet to reach mainstream adoption. 
for it to become widely accepted, key challenges must be addressed. One major hurdle is accessibility and affordability. VR headsets and AR devices remain expensive and not always user-friendly. Making them more affordable, lightweight, and available across multiple devices will encourage more participation. High-quality content is also essential. The metaverse must offer more than gaming. Engaging experiences in socializing, education, shopping, and work will drive adoption. Businesses and creators need to develop interactive, valuable content to attract users. Seamless connectivity between platforms is another key factor. Users should be able to move freely between virtual spaces while keeping their avatars and digital assets. Open standards and blockchain technology can help create a more interconnected metaverse. User-friendly design is crucial for mass adoption. AI-powered assistance, intuitive navigation, and voice control can make the metaverse accessible to a wider audience, including non-tech savvy users. Rather than replacing reality, the metaverse should enhance it. Mixed reality applications in education, healthcare, and business will make it more practical and valuable. For widespread adoption, the metaverse must become as simple and useful as smartphones and the internet. With better technology, accessibility, and content, it could soon become a seamless part of daily life. So again, where's the metaverse? The answer is that it is everywhere and nowhere at the same time. It exists in the digital spaces we interact with daily, in the platforms being built by tech giants and independent developers, and in the evolving technologies shaping our online experiences. As the metaverse continues to grow, the question is, will it redefine how we work, socialize, and entertain ourselves? We will have to wait and see. Have you or do you use virtual worlds? What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.